Let's look at an applied example for the normal distribution now. Uh, so a very common um, applied example is quality control. Um, so let's say, for example, we are purchasing a large batch of 20 centimeter nuts. So 20 centimeters in diameter, let's say, um, for your company from a manufacturer. And why wouldn't you just buy these at the hardware store? Well, let's say that um, what you need, you need these nuts to fit on these certain bolts um, in a product that you are making. <clears throat> Okay, um, my father's actually had this issue before, but it was actually, the issue was with the bolts. They had uh, a very large quantity produced for a very large construction um, job. They're very large bolts, um, and they were the wrong size. It held up the job for about a month as they waited for new ones to be produced and shipped across the world. So it is an issue sometimes where you need very specific um, bolts or nuts manufactured um, for whatever it is you're producing and they need to be just the right size. So in this case, let's say they need to be 20 centimeters um, in diameter here. So before you, you should ever pay for a batch of anything that you're having produced, you should perform quality control. Um, so this is where the normal distribution comes in. So what you do to perform quality control, you do the following. Um, you take a sample. So in this case, we're gonna sample the nuts uh, and we're gonna find uh, an average diameter and a standard deviation for that. Um, so in our case, the average diameter is 20.1 centimeters with a standard deviation of 0.1. Okay. Uh, in order to pass quality control, the sample can only have 5% of the nut smaller than 19.8 centimeters in diameter. Okay. Note that in this case, it's okay for them to be a little bit bigger, but it's bad for them to be smaller because then they won't fit on the bolt. Uh, we're not going to talk about the threading of them. That would also be quite specific. We're just going to talk about the diameter for now and quality control on that. So here's what we have. So we want at least, uh, sorry, we want uh, at most 5% um, to be smaller than 19.8 centimeters. What's going to happen if they are smaller? We can't use them, let's say. Uh, notice that, wouldn't you say, well, why do we even allow 5%? Don't we want all of the nuts to be usable? Well, when you are doing quality control, you assume that there's going to be a certain acceptable amount of uh, defective product, you would say. So in this case, the defective product would be any um, nuts that are smaller than 19.8 centimeters, and we're putting that percentage of defective product at 5%. Okay, um, now, how should we analyze this? Well, will you accept this batch? Um, so how do we analyze that? Well, one way of thinking about it is to say, okay, let's go find the X value such that with this sample result, such that 5% of um, the nuts will be smaller than that based off of our sample. We would use a norm in for that. We have the area we're looking for the x value. Um, <clears throat> in case when you're looking for an x, use your norm in. So put in that 5%, that's the area to the left of our x value. We want the x value itself. Put in the 20.1 for the mean, the 0.1 for the standard deviation. Uh, notice we do not put a comma 1 for norm.inv. Um, okay, and that gives us 19.9355. Let's try that out in an example. Okay, so in Excel, we use the norm.in, grab that 5%, and the, sorry, the 20.1 for the mean, the 0.1 for the standard deviation, and that gives us 19.9355. Now, is this okay? Let's have a look. Okay, so is that value okay? Hmm, it's larger than 19.8, is that good or bad? Okay, it's actually good. Let's look at it in terms of the picture here. So picture this. So our x value turns out to be 19.94, such that 5% is less than that. What that gives us is that less than 5% of the nuts will be less than 19.8 then. That is good. 19.8 is kind of our cutoff for a defective nut that won't fit on our bolt that we um, specifically need, need a nut for. Um, so since 19.94 um, is larger, that is good in this case that makes sure that less than 5% of the nuts are smaller than 19.8. Now let's look at this example, this quality control example in a different way as well. You can pick whichever way you prefer um, to solve this problem. So let's think of it in a different way here. Let's think of it instead with the norm.dist and let's think of it this way. Let's look for this area and let's set our x value to 19.8. So let's see what percentage of the nuts um, are less than 19.8 in diameter. Um, 
In that case, if you're looking for the percentage or the area, use your norm.dist call. So this is also a great way to answer this problem. Use norm.dist, put in the 19.8 for your x, 20.1 um, for your mean, 0.1 for your standard deviation, and then don't forget the comma 1 when you're using norm.dist, and that gives us 0 0.00135. Let's go try that. Okay, so here we are. So we use the norm.dist, and we go grab the... Um, 19.8 for our x value, 20.1 for our mean, standard deviation at 0.1, and put in the comma 1. And here we are, here's our answer, so is this okay? Okay, so this is great. What that means is that um, only 0.00135 is the area below this x, or if you will, only 0.135% of the nuts have a diameter less than 19.8. That's great. That's way below the required 5%. So this is basically our percentage of defective nuts that we cannot use on the bolts that we have. Um, okay.